Okay, so if you uh, do have a lower pH of your water coming in and you do need the uh, Corosex mixture, what you want to do is uh, mix this at 90% uh, to 10%. So basically, take and put some of your uh, calcite in a bucket, and this is approximate, at approximately 10% of that. And uh, also, you may want to wear a dust mask when you do this for real. It uh, definitely uh, adds a lot of, puts a lot of dust in the air. And what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and pre-mix this up and get the Corosex worked into the uh, top site. And then after you've pre-mixed it, go ahead and And just remember, don't go above your hype mark. Okay, prior to installing our uh, valve, uh, we want to make sure we can go ahead and fill this up with water. Um, and you want to let that set for a minimum of an hour, uh, up to 24 hours. So you want to pre-soak your media prior to installing your valve. There are two O-rings that you're going to want to lube here. This one seals to the tank and there's one inside that seals to the D-tube. So we'll put a little of that lube we supplied around those O-rings. Get those good and lubed up. Okay, as I described earlier, you don't want to get this media back up into your control valve because it could start leaking or stop working. So we have this top basket. You basically install this and turn it counterclockwise. And then we'll go ahead and install the valve. Again, you only want to hand tighten these valves down to seat on the O-ring. You don't want to use any kind of wrench or anything on them. You could possibly crack the housing. Okay, now we're going to install our bypass valve. Again, there are two O rings on each on the entrances here. I'm going to lube those guys up. And notice there are an in and out arrow on that valve head and also here on the bypass valve. These guys just pop in. And then you just hand tighten these as well. And then last, we will go ahead and install our one-inch adapters. And again, there's one O-ring on each one of these guys. You want to make sure you lube as well. Okay, we're going to go ahead and install our inlet and outlet flex lines now. Our bypass valve is in the bypass mode. So that means both valves are facing each other. So basically the inlet water comes in and stays on this side of the valve. So it just goes through the valve and out. It does not go into the tank yet. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and hook our drain line up from the side of the valve right here to the top of the drain. So on the drain side, basically you would install your air gap uh, using regular PVC primer and glue. And then with your 5 8 5 8 drain line, we'll just use O-rings or uh, hose clamps.
And the same on the valve side. Just have your hose clamp and slide up over. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and apply power. We take our power supply. You can plug it into the slot that says P. It's the furthest outboard slot. 